Hello, I'm James Cornelius, and I am in the vault of the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library in Springfield, Illinois. For our Artifact of the Month this month, May of 2011, we are looking at a goose quill pen that belonged to Abraham Lincoln. Now, 21st century kids don't save their pens and pencils from grade school. And when Abraham was growing up in the 1810s and 20s, he didn't save any of his goose quills. There are none of those that, rem that remain today. But he had enough heart for his boyhood and that old-fashioned way of doing things that he kept using a goose quill pen once in a while, even long into the period when he was a successful lawyer and you could easily buy manufactured pens and pencils. This goose quill was on his desk in the White House on the night that he died. It was found there by a doorman at the White House who kept it, and it has come down through the years, mostly for a long time through the possession of a fabled Lincoln collector named Oliver Barrett of Chicago. It now comes to the Presidential Library and Museum here in Springfield through the Louise Taper Collection, and we hope that you can help support its permanent place here by helping fund the Permanent Home Campaign. Abraham would have sharpened the end of this quill once in a while as it got dull from writing. He would have also had to trim off, or perhaps one of his secretaries trimmed off, the feathers when they got smeared with ink. If you see an old quill pen that has a full feather on it, it probably wasn't used much. They got smeared in the same way that the hand of the writer got smeared. It was a messy business. There were a lot of good reasons to use the manufactured pens and pencils from the 1840s or so, unless you'd grown up using this. And he is known to have used a stick to write letters and words in the snow or in the sand and the dust when he was a boy. He, at night, sometimes sat in front of the fireplace in their Indiana cabin and wrote with a cinder on the fire shovel. He was that desperate to find something to write with and something to write upon. It wasn't easy to get one of these. You sometimes had to catch your own. Turkey quills and goose quills were the most commonly found. He was a man who had fond memories of most of his boyhood, and it shows in some of the possessions that he kept his entire life. Please join us again next month for another Artifact of the Month, and please support the Permanent Home Campaign. Thank you.